from the perspective of an archaeologist, someone who's looking at the past, but more uh, historical objects or building sites, what do you define as folklore, and what is folklore? Uh, what does it mean to you? Uh, you know, um, as an archaeologist, uh, people ask us that how you find a site and how do you know about the site. So, first of all, we have to go to the historical references. We read the history of that area. Then we have these folklore kind of things which old people tell us mm -hmm. when we go to different mm -hmm. uh, sites. So, exploration is our first step towards any excavation or any discovery. So a lot of uh, like I discovered one underwater city just by talking to people. Okay. We were working on at Bhambore. I excavated there for many years, like six or seven years we excavated mm -hmm. at Bhambore. So we were just talking to somebody and these people, they came up with the pot shirts and they said these pot shirts are from such and such place, which was about uh, 12 kilometers from Bhambore. It's okay. under the water. Oh wow. And and uh, they gave us these shirts and when we went there, there was a graveyard on top of that site. But uh, when we just uh, searched a little bit, so there were uh, remnants of um, uh, you know, dwellings and we mm -hmm. couldn't make out at that time what it was. But when we looked carefully, and you know, this area is a very, very difficult area. It just, you can just see it in the late dates of moon. Uh, 1920 and 21st mm. of the moon dates when the wow. water is receding mm -hmm. back oh, and see. from just 6 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock and mm -hmm. then the water comes oh. up and it covers the whole site. Wow. Yeah. So in my opinion that's the real uh, Debal yeah. and this one is Bhambur. So the controversy between Debal and Bhambur can be solved with the help of this. So mm -hmm. we were talking about the um, folklores and the local stories. So uh, this is one thing that which mm -hmm. lead us to discovery of so many sites. You know? mm -hmm. Folklore yeah. is very very important that way. And yeah. there are like wherever you go in Sin, they will tell you that this is mosque of Muhammad bin Qasim. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Also, what do you discern? Yeah. What, what do you how what do you discern from the truth versus people just trying to? Yeah, so uh, many times we had to walk miles and miles just listening to people, and they would tell us that. There is this, this, this graveyard, so it's about just two miles away, just three miles away, and we are walking and walking from morning till afternoon. Yeah. So folklores or the tales are like that. You know? Right. Uh, right. It's not hundred percent true, but we have to follow them right. because so many times they lead you to such a good discovery. Living like history. I told you mm -hmm. about this underwater site, which is uh, discovered by us for the first time in history. What is it's it called? We don't know, uh, I mean, it, there's no name, name for it, it's under the water, okay. but we just named it with the, uh, close to Bhambore, so okay. it's the local town which is uh, there, but that is also far away, but this side is completely submerged under wow. the water, mm -hmm. I have uh, published that, okay. it's published, okay. um, you can see that, there were, there is a huge Jamia mosque and uh, I found a beautiful Kufic plated uh, stone. Wow. Oh. It's it's for it's one of its own kind in Pakistan in Indo Pakistan, not only in wow. Pakistan, in South Asia. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited to have That's that plaque. Yeah. Yeah. So this is also for the first time we discovered it was in the channel, water channel, because it's delta. So the water is like a uh, river Indus meets at, uh, with the sea and this water channel, they had this the plaque in. So we took okay. that plaque with us, we brought it to Karachi and we have published it. So um, like coming back to the fairy tales and the tales about old, uh, so wherever we go, we gather old people, we sit with them and then we mm. ask different questions. Mm. So that is our one way to, and I think like 80% uh, we find sites. Wow, with that's, the help that's of still very close. Human memory, yeah. it shows how it persists yes. through time and but sometimes uh, they're a bit silly also and but still there is some monument or something mm -hmm. which like one time they took us to in one of the sites in Sin, quite in inside Sin, and they said this is Ali's uh, Ali's feet <laughs> foot okay. impression of Hazrat wow. Ali but that was really unrealistic and yeah. um, when you walk and walk, go up to that side and you find that so then you yeah. think oh yeah. you are so <laughs> silly but still it's part of uh, history. For them it's important, for them it's uh, really yes. true. Yes and they actually cherish those uh, yeah. sites and they take care of them. Mm. So this is one thing that uh, mm. we need to establish this contact with them 
So like we did a conservation of a stone carved graveyard. graveyard. It was totally looted by deck wives, uh, the grave hunters. Wow. They think that there are treasures yeah, in so these they, graves, oh so my. they dug up. But uh, when we did the restoration and conservation, then we used to call all these old people mm -hmm. of that tribe to that graveyard and they used to be with us and they used to work with us right. and now they are looking after that okay. uh, and they had a story with that also what so was it called this rooney's graveyard oh, it's rooney's. at um, northern bypass okay so that's our another site we did and then do you remember the story by any chance or uh, these are about the Baloch tribes oh, okay. uh, who mm -hmm. used to come to Sindh. This is a, actually a way from Balochistan towards Sindh. They used to travel. And there is no specific uh, story about this, right, but right. there are certain graves, they have stories like mm -hmm. this was built by such and such Sardar and he spent so much money on this grave mm -hmm. in those times. Okay. But in Baloch time, in Baloch tombs, you can find even the uh, rate written on the grave. The 